how to create a grid like this in Affinity Photo. It's a shape design. You can modify it, move it around, resize, etc. Let's just remove that. You notice also I've got grid lines. I'll show you how to get those later. So let's just go over here to the rectangle tool. So rectangle tool. Click on the document and drag. Hold down the shift and get it square. Very basic square. And now what I need to do, just going to move that. Make certain you've got the move tool selected. Just press V. So press V. You've got the move tool selected. Then press return or enter. Then go here. Now this grid is 50 by 50. So 51. Well, what you can do, put 100. So enter 100 there. And you see it shifts along, misses that one and shifts to there. But if you click duplicate, and you can say enter 8 or 10 or whatever, it doesn't matter. But something like that, 8, doesn't have to be the same for vertical as well. I'm going with 8 and 8. So then click OK. So it's 100 and 8 and duplicate. Click OK. Then select all of those. With them all selected, just drag over like that to select them all. You can then, with that, press return or enter again. Again, the move tool needs to be selected. And this panel will pop up. And you can do the same, so this time with vertical. So enter 100 again, and then go to duplicate, put that on, and maybe set it to the same. You could have 10, 15, doesn't matter, something like that. And now you've got this grid. Click OK. Well, drag over all of them again. Again, you need the move tool selected to do that. With them all selected, you can then go either to layer and down to geometry and add, or just right click and use the same command. So add, they're all added together. Now we need the tools again. So let's just go over here, rectangle tool. That's selected. Again, drag over this and just drag all the way down. Make certain you just go down there and you can then, you see you've got that lovely square there. Now you can't obviously see the shapes. So press V again and then drag over all of this. Now you can see obviously you've got that grid and also that square. This time you can right click just as good. Just simply go down to geometry and use combine. So combine and then you've got that. Well, what you can then do is you can use layers to apply effects. So you can go up here, window and layers. So let's just get that visible. So window and layers. And you can see you've got that. You can go down the bottom, click effects. You can go for 3D. So 3D setting there, change the radius. And then click out of shadow. And then move that to the middle and close. And there you have it. A very quick grid in Affinity Photo. Now you can manipulate it further, of course. You can apply filter effects. So to simply go to filters and maybe distort and maybe mesh warp if you want to distort it or use liquify. So then just simply drag and distort and press return. And there you've got a lovely distorted grid. There's a number of other options you can do with this grid as well. Hope you found this of interest. Any questions? How to display this grid, these grid lines? All you need to do is go up to view and go down here to grid and access. You can also do show grid, but you can set it up. Just use this grid and access. With that, you've got the options here to go to basic. You can, of course, use other ones as well and set the spacing to 50, divisions to one and click close. Make sure you've got show grid is turned on. Close there. Hope you found this of interest. Any questions, please let me know in the comments below. A like or dislike, always appreciated. Bye.